Hi yogis, today we're gonna do a 40 minute summer body yoga workout routine to get our bodies nice and ready for bathing suit season. Let's get started. Come into a seated pose. We'll start with a seated meditation just to center us and get us prepared for our beautiful yoga practice. This will be an active practice as it is the summer body yoga practice. So we want to make sure that our bodies are activated and toned, ready for our bathing suits and all running on the beach, you know. So close the eyes, center in on your breath. Quiet the mind as much as you can. I know the mind likes to wander a lot, but that's the whole point of practicing meditation before a practice, just to come out of that zone and enter this zone of body mindful awareness. Feeling tall in your posture, heart radiating forward, breathing deeply. You can place one hand on your heart and one on your belly. Just physically feel the movement of your breath and your belly and your chest, if that's comfortable for you today. Slowly open the eyes, immediately feeling just a little bit more relaxed, even from just a second of a seated meditation. Imagine the wonders it could do for yourself, and your body, and your mind from practicing seated meditation for a longer period of time. We'll bring our hands to our knees and start to activate a more active breath here. Inhaling as you reach the heart forward and shoulders back opening the throat forward as well. Looking up towards the sky, exhaling, pushing on your knees, rounding the spine back, bringing your chin to chest. Inhale, exhale, warming up the spine here. Go deep into this posture, into this movement. The seated cat-cow variation, a little bit more gentle than a tabletop cat-cow. There's no pressure on the wrists or the knees. And feel free to move at any pace that's comfortable for you today. Being aware of what feels comfortable for you today as well. If your body wants to move fast or if it wants to move slow, just being aware of that realization in your body. Hmm. Let's add some circles here. Circling the spine from one knee to the other and back. Maybe you'll release some back cracks from this movement. Really allowing all the vertebrae to move around. Working on the flexibility of your spine is so important. Still connecting to this movement to your breath. Change direction. Super comfortable. 
comfortable. From our tabletop, we'll start to do rainbow kicks. So we'll straighten that right leg out. And inhale, reach the leg up. Exhale, place the foot on the outside of your mat on the left side, crossing over your left leg. Inhale up as high as you can. Exhale, placing it on the outside of the right side of your mat. As you can see, this rainbow movement here, keep going at your own pace. You wanna work more slowly or more quickly. You can look at your foot too, tracing this rainbow movement. Breathing deeply. One more. And bring that leg back to center. Let's change sides. Straightening the left leg out for a moment. Making sure you're strong in your base and your hands and your standing leg. Inhale the left leg up as high as possible. Cross over the right leg on the outside of the right mat. And inhale up, other side, exhale. Begin your rainbow movement of the leg. Looking at the leg if that's comfortable. Also working with the spine here. Or you can stay looking forward and just working with the leg. Rainbow movements here. One more. And come back to center. Let's lift that left knee out. Coming into a fire hydrant pose here from our tabletop. Lifting the left knee outwards and back to center without touching the ground. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you bring the leg down. Going for 10 here. Five more. And drop the leg, let's change that. Taking a moment to feel the heat in your right glute. Placing the hands strongly on the ground again, making sure you feel strong in your stance. It's super important. If you need to adjust to any of the variations in the arms, you can always do that. Lifting the right leg outwards, knee comes up 90 degree legs. Exhale, knee meets the other knee without touching the ground. Inhale as you rise. Exhale as you lower. Keep going for 10. Five more. And rest. We'll do kick ups now. Lifting the left leg up towards the sky. Make sure you're not opening the leg like we just did in that fire hydrant pose. It's reaching up towards the sky. You can also do in the direction of head to foot, almost like in a tiger pose. Or you can reach up. It's up to you what feels more comfortable for you, but the leg must be straight, not opening externally or internally. Now we're inhaling, raising the foot, Exhale, drop the knee, knee to nose. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go for 10.
Drop the leg slowly. Feeling strong in your base, other leg. Lifting the right leg up towards the sky. Inhale or foot to head. Exhale, knee to nose. Keep going for 10.
and slowly bring both hands down to the ground. Walk the feet towards each other and inhale, rolling up to a standing position. Look up towards your palms, open your heart forward, exhale, hands to the heart center, rest. Hmm. Coming towards the top of your mat, both toes together. Inhale, coming into a chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes and you're protecting the lower back by tucking your tailbone slightly, activating the core. Three deep breaths here. Coming down to a forward fold, exhale, inhale, halfway lift, hold the breath, drop the hands to the ground, walk back to a plank, exhale, chaturanga, leaning forward onto your toes and lowering down, keeping the elbows close to the body, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. You're going to lift that right leg up towards the sky and bring it in between your hands, preparing yourself for warrior one. Drop back heel down on the ground. Feel stable in your base. Make sure the knee is above your ankle. And inhale, raise the hands up, coming into your warrior one stance. Make sure you check your body. Your hips are facing forward. If they're not facing forward, Come onto your back toes and help in that positioning. You don't have to keep the heel down on the ground if your hips are going to twist all the way towards your front leg. Make sure that knee is steady above the ankle and not going too far forward. Hands are reaching up. Again, we want to protect the lower back. Tuck the tailbone in slightly. You should feel the stretch more intensively here in the hip flexor in the top thigh region of your back leg and lessen your lower back. Breathing deeply here, reaching your hands up towards the sky. One more deep breath. And slowly reach forward, lean forward, bringing your chest to your thigh and swing the arms back, coming into this Lying position here, looking towards your toes. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, back up into your warrior one. Exhale, lean forward, bringing your weight onto your right leg, and straightening in that back leg. And bring the knee towards your chest, the left knee. Hands stay up towards the sky. Take three deep breaths here in this standing balancing posture. And then swing the hands behind you and swing the left leg behind you as well, coming into this variation of dancer pose. Without actually grabbing the foot, I want you to really reach that left leg up behind you, leaning the heart forward and hands back. Inhale deeply. Exhale, give yourself a hug and bring that left knee to chest. Going in for one more round. Inhale, hands come back. Dancer pose variation. Exhale, give yourself a hug again, maybe changing um, your arm body. Take a deep breath here and drop the left leg to the ground. Inhale, coming back up into chair pose. Exhale, swing the arms behind you and come up onto your tippy toes. Three deep breaths. Squeeze your legs against each other. Feel balanced and strong. Inhale, hands come back up. Coming into a slight back bend here. Straighten the legs. Exhale, hands to heart center. Other side. Inhale into your chair pose. 
Again, making sure your alignment is ready, steady, and stable. Three deep breaths. Maybe sit a little bit deeper in your chair pose now that we're warmed up. Drop down into a forward fold, head to knees, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, look forward. Hold the breath, place the hands, walk back down into your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. <clears throat> Inhale, the left leg up. Exhale, place it in between your hands, preparing you for warrior one. Drop the back heel, stack the left knee over the ankle. Inhale, only upper body movement. Look up towards your fingertips. Make sure you're aligned properly. Lower back doesn't feel any strain here. Breathing deeply, reaching the hands up towards the sky. One more deep breath. And slowly bring your chest to thigh. Swing the arms back. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, back up into your warrior one. Exhale, lean forward onto your left leg. And swing that right knee to chest, keeping the arms up high. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, open the hands back. Reach the right leg back behind you and up towards the sky, like in a dancer pose, but a variation. Opening the heart forward, keep opening, reaching the heart forward. Inhale deeply. Exhale, hug yourself with your arms, bring that right knee to chest. Inhale, open. Opening the arms out, reaching the leg up high. Dancer pose variation. Exhale, hug yourself again. Maybe opposite arms, knee to chest. Lower down the foot slowly. Big toe to big toe. Inhale into a chair pose. Exhale, swing the hands back and come up onto your tippy toes. Three deep breaths. Drop the heels, inhale, hands up. Standing back, bend, reaching behind you, feeling your whole belly region being stretched out. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, the hands come up, look up towards your hands. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. You can go a little bit deeper, I know you can. We're warm now, your body will allow it. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold the breath, walk back to Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Let's stay here in our down dog. Take a deep breath here. Lean your weight forward onto your hands and find your plank. If you need to adjust your legs and hands, for your body height, then do so. Lift the right leg, drop the right leg. Lift the left leg, and drop the left leg. Lift the right hand, drop the right hand. Lift the left hand, drop the left hand. Take a deep breath here in your plank. We'll slowly lean our weight onto our right hand and come into a side plank. You can keep your hand on your left hip, straight up towards the sky or overhead. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. If you have any wrist strain, then bring your hand a little bit further out so there's less of a body weight on your wrist. Breathing deeply here, you can stay in a regular side plank or start to bend the left knee 
Coming into a side plank fall in tree pose. And slowly bring the leg back down. Turn back into your regular plank. Let's come down into a forearm plank for a second, releasing any strain from the wrists. Make sure the hips are low. Three deep breaths here. And come back up, regular plank. Turning onto your left side, leaning your weight onto your left hand, coming into your side plank. You can choose again to keep your hand on your hips or up towards the sky. Breathing deeply here. And slowly start to bend the right knee, bringing the toes towards your thigh region, coming into fallen tree pose. Breathing deeply. And slowly coming back to your plank position. Take a deep breath here. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop to a seat. Woo! <laughs> You're like, thank God we're off our hands. <laughs> Hold your thighs for a moment for prepping us for boat pose. Making sure you feel stable on your sit bones, not leaning too much on your lower back. When you're ready, let go of your legs, still maintaining the stable position on your sit bones. Reaching the hands forward, you can choose to keep the legs bent or start to straighten as much as you can while still maintaining a strong position on your, on your sit bones. Five deep breaths here in the static boat pose. Bend the knees, bring the hands to heart center and namaste on Jelly Mudra. And we'll start to tap the hands on either side. So we can tap the hands on the left, back to center, namaste. Tap on the right, back to center. We'll add some speed here. Make sure you're still breathing deeply through the nose. Inhaling as you're coming back to center. Exhaling as you're dropping. Keep going. Make sure you still have length in the spine. Still sitting on your sit bones. And come back to center. Inhale. Deep breath here, still balancing. And bring your knees to chest. Give yourself a big balancing hug. And start to roll like a ball. You can hold your shins, rolling back and forward, giving yourself a little spinal massage. <sighs> Allowing the energy to flow freely in your body. Usually when you do such an active exercise, the energy is very tightly packed inside, working hard to build muscle, to build strength. So we're just gonna roll for a moment, massaging, relaxing. Before we come into the final part of our practice, which will be mostly abs. And then come back to center and slowly lean on your back. Gonna lift the legs up to 90 degrees. Just for a moment before we add some movement here, allowing the circulation to just flow calmly from your feet 
in the center of your body, your heart. And we'll start to activate some toe taps here. Flex in the feet, really activating the legs here as well. Reach the hands up. And on the act, on the active exhale, you reach up and, and reach for the toes. The inhale should be passive. Keep going. Connecting to your breath. Little bit more. And slowly rest the head back down on the ground, keeping the legs up 90 degrees, flex and active legs. Let's reach the hands up, palms together, almost mimicking the legs, active hands, active legs. And we'll add some twists here. So we're inhaling and reaching up towards the sky. Exhale as you twist towards the left, reaching the hands forward beyond your left hip region. Inhale back to center. Exhale on the right. Picking up the pace here. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. going. Couple more. And relax the head back down on the ground. Bend the knees towards your chest. Pull the knees towards you with your hands. And start circling the knees outward and inward. Just taking a moment. Relax in the abdominal region. Focus on the hips a bit. Relaxing the neck. And change direction, inward and outward, inward and outward. Bringing the hands behind your head, let's come into some bicycle movements. Bringing the left knee to your right elbow, straightening that right leg. Inhale back to center. Exhale, left elbow to right knee, straightening the left, the left leg. Inhale back to center. Exhale, let's pick up the pace. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Place the hands by your hips. 
and we'll come into low bridge, pressing into your feet and your hands, lifting the hips up high. Keep the head in the center, making sure the neck is relaxed. Make sure your knees are still facing forward and haven't opened up outward. Sometimes that happens when we come up in the low bridge position. slowly lift the right leg up towards the sky. It can be straight or bent, whatever's more comfortable for you. And take a moment to look at your hips and make sure that they're aligned, that your right hip isn't sinking. We'll activate some toe taps here. Inhale as you reach towards the sky. Exhale, lower down to a normal bridge. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, pick up the pace. Keep going. And release, let's change legs. Making sure your bridge is stable before pressing into your right foot now, pressing into your hands, neck is relaxed. Lifting the left leg up towards the sky, either pointed or bent knee. Taking a look at your hips for a second, making sure they're aligned and the left hip isn't sinking. Activating some toe taps here. Lift, inhale, exhale, drop. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Keep going. Couple more. And release back down to the ground. Bringing the knees back to your chest. Let's give yourself a big hug. Holding opposite elbows, bringing your head to knees. Take three deep breaths here. And release your neck to the ground and your hands by your sides, shoulder height, keeping the knees bent and together. Let's start to rock the knees left and right. <clears throat> Giving yourself a lower back massage. And using only your abdominal muscles here to control this movement. Let's stop on the left side and drop the knees to the ground. Look towards the right. Coming into a gentle recline twist here with bent knees. Inhale back to center. Exhale, change sides, bringing the legs to the right side, looking towards the left. <sighs> Close the eyes and just breathe deeply into this relaxing twist posture. into your Shavasana, the last pose of the practice, resting posture. The legs can be as wide as the mat or wider. Pull your shoulders away from you and back down towards the ground. Make sure the body is aligned, the forehead, the forehead is straight aligned with the center of your body and you're not tilting the head right or left. Hands are by your hips, palms facing up. And just breathe deeply here. Feeling the movement of your belly rise. 
rising and falling. Only thinking about your breath. Anytime your mind starts to wander, bring it back home to your breath. Feel the sensations of your body against the ground beneath you. Connect to any sounds around you from nature or otherwise. If you did, please like and comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye.